Okay, guys, today is the day where you see me make the Dollar Tree Doll House Gingerbread DIY. This is the second one that I'm making. The first one I did not pre-record. So you see from start to finish, some apologies up front. And some of the clips, the view was not that great, and I apologize. I, I thought you could see everything that I'm doing, but hopefully I did a great job describing it. It's very tedious initially. The fun part does not come until we get to decorate it. Um, hopefully you learn from some of my mistakes. The first house I attempted to spray paint white using Rust-Oleum spray paint and primer. It did not stick that well and I felt like it made my job harder because the house was sticky, but that actually being I didn't do that, it really kind of made it easier um, because just like a makeup primer, it helps the makeup stick to your face. That kind of helped the paint stick a little bit better. I don't want you guys to get frustrated, okay? Learn from my mistakes. And number one, you want to sand the house down until it is dull. There is a shiny finish on these houses. Sand it until it's dull. As I'm painting this one, you will see some shine. You shouldn't see any shine, especially since I'm using a matte paint. Okay. I used everything that came in the craft kit for those of you who won the Gingerbread House DIY craft kits. But these are items that you can get from your local stores, guys. Very inexpensive. Some of you who did not win are participating and I'm excited about it. And one of you DM'd me on Instagram, which is the fastest way to get to me, guys. If you need to get to me, if you have questions, send me a direct message on Instagram. You always can still email me. I will try to do a better job of checking my emails periodically throughout the day, just in case you have a question. And one of her issues was getting the paint to stick and painting over the pink. Now, in this house, you'll see the roof is pink but I did not do a good job sanding it. I thought I did. You wanna sand it until it's dull. You wanna get rid of whatever finish they put on top of it so your paint will stick, but also keep in mind that you're gonna be building layers, okay? And you want to also, she said her paint kept coming off. Sand it good, let the paint dry in between coats. That's important because if the paint is not dry, and you keep trying to paint and paint and I get your frustration because you just want to be done with it already. I get it. I wanted to throw this house out the window. Um, but hi, Parker says hi. When the paint is dry, it should, it won't come off. Okay. If you have a fan, um, this is my glam fan. If you have a fan that will help speed up the process of the paint drying. Okay. Um, so I hope I did a good job narrating the video um i apologize some views wasn't the best i didn't realize that until editing and make it your own um and also have a plan of your design with this house i really didn't have a plan with the design i wanted um i kind of winged it have a plan what i did with the first house and it could have applied to this house as well is while i was in the store and i seen gingerbread houses i would snap a picture of them um for some inspiration and if you didn't win the kit and you want to know where can you get the mini gingerbreads from i ordered them in bulk in timu um and i'm down to like my last because you know of the giveaway and plus i use some but target has these in the one dollar section they're one dollar you see the mini gingerbreads in here, a dollar for 25. Also, this is where I got the foam peppermints from. Okay? This is where I got those from. So, I don't want you guys to get frustrated. Um, the paper straws, I got mine from Walmart. And then I was able to find some at Ross. Okay? Um, I did use those. So, that's accessible. You can get those probably Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Hold on one second. Y'all want him? Y'all can come get him. Um, also, I had some chalk paint. 
For whatever reason, chalk paint sticks to this plastic well and it provided great coverage. However, I don't like the texture of chalk paint. It feels like chalk when it dries. But I use this on the inside of the house, okay? Now, there have been people that have covered the back of the house with foam board. They got foam board from Dollar Tree and they traced the outline of the house and closed it up. If you want to do that, you can. You can use cardboard if you don't want to be bothered with the inside of the house, but I do want to put a tea light inside the house like I did the other one. So watch the video, guys. Have fun with this. Put on a movie. Listen to some music. Don't get frustrated, but the important thing is sand the house till it's dull. Don't be like me. I thought I did a good job. I did not do a good enough job. Um, also, wait in between layers to make sure the paint is dry before you attempt to put on your second coat, okay? It's definitely doable. I think it turned out cute. Would I do this again? I'm not sure. But you will have the memories of this is a gingerbread house that I made using Dollar Tree items, and you can be proud of your work. So without further ado, let's get into this video, and um, I hope you enjoy again. If you want to participate in this, send me a picture of your completed gingerbread house on or before December 15th and we will share it with the family. Something that I've never said before. If you wish to remain anonymous, just put in your email, please keep my name and I wanna be anonymous. And when I show the house, I'll just show the picture of the house. I won't say this is Evelyn's house or whoever it is. But hopefully this will inspire more of you guys to join share it with your family the more the merrier just email me the completed house on it before december 15th again i did this one today and one day in between sleep so it can be done but i just hope you guys don't get frustrated trust the process trust me you're going to see in the beginning it's going to look like i'm just putting mud on the house trust the process it comes out cute let's get into the video okay guys first step and just ignore this one. The windows, the roof, the doors, everything pops out of the house. The problem is once you paint it, it's hard to get them back in. Believe it or not, I don't know why. So if I were you, I would avoid this step, okay? But being that I did it, just in case you decide to do it, um, I'm showing you. I couldn't get that center part out. But right now, we're going to sand the hell out of this house. And please do a better job than me. I really thought I did a good job, but I didn't. You want to sand the house until it's dull. You do not want any shine left. Because whatever that finish is that they put on the house is going to make it difficult for the paint to adhere. So please sand the heck out of the house also if you intend to paint the inside you want to sand that as well so we are just sanding and sanding and sanding and please sand more than i did i'm also sanding the windows and the doors that i popped out but if you leave them in the house which i suggest you do you would just make sure you sand them well along with the rest of the house and I'm going in with the medium brown acrylic paint. I believe I got this paint from Walmart. Um, you can do a different color. You can do a pink mist gingerbread house. You can do a red gingerbread house. Google some gingerbread house images and get your inspiration. I'm going with a traditional gingerbread brown. And again, don't look at the first coat it's not going to look good but you need to get a thin even layer and then we are going to build upon that if you have a fan um after you put the first layer you know put a fan on to help the house dry faster but we are just painting And this is the tedious part. That's why I said put on some Christmas music, guys. Put on a movie. Um, do not get frustrated with this. And do not get scared when you see it looking like smeared mud um, on the house. Because you, as you paint, you're going to build and it's going to cover the house. The house will eventually be covered. You won't see the pink. 
Um, this particular house that I'm using is not the house that is in the kit. The first house I did was the one that you guys will be receiving in the kit. But they still have these bright colors that you have to cover. And as you can see, the roof, I didn't really do a great job sanding the roof. So it's going to take quite a few coats. Try to uh, make sure that you don't leave any globs of paint. If you look at my house and you see some heavy areas, smooth that all out because what's going to happen, it's going to dry that way and you'll have to sand it to get it flat again. So take your time, guys. Take your time. A thin layer, let it dry. So while the house is drying and trust the process, it looks like a hot mess, but that first coat is going to provide a um, base coat to build upon. So because I popped the windows out, what I'm doing now is I'm painting the windows and I'm using chalk paint. Now I did a better job at sanding these pieces because they were dull. They didn't have a shine to it. That's why I said sand the house till it looks dull. Um, but chalk paint also, for whatever reason, is working great and providing um, nice coverage. But I'm putting on the second coat. Again, tedious. And I'm alternating. As I, while I'm letting that dry, I'm going back to the windows. Now, again, if you leave the windows in the house and the door in the house, as I suggest, you still can paint the house, then paint the windows. And puff paint and that fake snow will help cover any imperfections. Okay? So just trust the process. And as you can see, the house is, the paint is sticking. <clears throat> it's taking a lot of layers, but that is my fault because I didn't sand it down enough. But as you can see, we're making progress. Make sure, guys, you get in good in between the windows. I did not do a good job, so I'm having a hard time with the paint. But make sure, and I'm just using a fan just to help speed the process up. And I'm applying another coat to the windows and the door. I'm actually, and I'm also painting the inside, as you can see here, too, with chalk paint. And the chalk paint is really providing great coverage again I just hate the texture of chalk paint and I already jumped the gun guys <clears throat> when I put the last coat on the bottom I also added the first dusting of glitter because that was my last coat of the brown paint and once the house dries the glitter will be on and this is one of the Clips where I'm not giving you the best view and I apologize. I did not realize that when I was making this video. But all I'm doing now is painting what I want white on the house white. That's what I'm doing now. Finish with the brown paint. Thank God. And I'm just adding the white detail. So if you want to paint the whole house brown, including the windows, and then go back and cover the windows with puff paint, I suggest you do that. You also can mosh posh the roof and add fake snow. Okay, so that here is the problem, y'all. Trying to get these windows back in was not easy. I struggled with the bottom two. I'm going to struggle with this side one. Sorry about the view. I mean, I struggled to pop this window in. That's why I'm telling you, do not waste your time. Pop I'm still struggling now, y'all. Do not waste your time uh, popping those windows out. You can paint around them. And again, if you're concerned about um, getting brown paint on the window, puff paint is going to be our friend. Again, I apologize about the angle, guys. I did not realize that I was out of frame. But all I'm doing is adding my little scallop, that's what I'm going to call it, design to the roof. Again, you can use fake snow, but that's all I'm doing. And this puff paint takes a long time to dry, so try not to touch the areas. I'm going over the window and the door frames with puff paint. So that's why you could really paint the whole house brown and then trim, um, you know, go around your windows with the puff paint. And I'm just adding my glitter to it. 
And here comes the fun part, guys. We are going to start adding some decor. I'm going in with the peppermint straw sticks and I'm going to frame the house with the peppermint straws. And just going over, touching up any areas that need to be touched up. To break up some of the white, I am adding some red detail. You can add green. You could add any color that you want. This is your house. This is your design, guys. Doesn't have to be like mine. So I'm just going in with some red paint. And I'm adding the straws to the house to frame it out. And I decided that I'm going to um, frame the entire house with the peppermint straws. And I apologize that that was out of frame. I, this is the point where I realized the house was out of frame. And what I did was I just added a peppermint to the door because I did not like what I did. And take your time with it, guys. If you have to stop and Google gingerbread houses for some inspiration, do that. So I'm just going over in my mind, do I want to add the peppermints to the roof? So that's what I'm doing at this point, just thinking of the design. So try to have your design in mind ahead of time, but anything can change as you go along, guys. And you can use these little things as embellishments. It came in a set of 25, so that's where I got the foam peppermint from. And they even have like these mini tiny gingerbreads. So, and you're getting 25 for a dollar. I decided to go ahead and add the peppermints to the roof. Um, again, just thinking of design. So try to have that in mind. Um, I'm adding some puff paint around the door frame as well. So I'm going to try something, guys. I'm going to try to add some dots to the house. Um, I did Google some gingerbread houses so I'm gonna add some dots just to add some details to the front of it because it's cute but it's just not there yet for me and this is where I lost my mind I don't know what that design is supposed to be so I am going to <laughs> fix that in a second but I'm also going to add glitter to the puff paint and believe it or not once the paint dries, there's not a whole lot of glitter fallout. Trust me, I can't stand glitter fallout, but I do like uh, the frosted gingerbread house. So to cover my mistakes, I'm going to add some gingies. And I also decided that I'm going to add more of the foam peppermints to the roof. Might as well. And we are almost complete. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add two gingies uh, to the house. I'm not happy with that little S design. I don't know <laughs> what I was thinking, but that's it, guys. That is it. So here is the completed house, and it's side by side with my first house. And uh, it was a lot of fun, guys. It was <laughs> painful, but fun. So I hope that you guys um, don't get discouraged. I hope I made it a little bit easier for you. And I can't wait to see your completed houses. Thanks for watching.